Good day, Primary 2 students. Today, we're going to talk about comparing two sets in math. So, last week, we were able to draw the part-whole models when solving word problems. This time, we will be comparing two sets. So, what does that mean? What does comparing two sets mean? When we say we compare two sets, that means in a word problem, we will have two people or two groups. Also, we will compare the things that those two people or those two groups have. And we will find words like fewer than or more than. Okay, those are important clues. Next, in comparing two sets, we will be drawing two bars, one for each of that person or group. We will also have the brackets with the numbers and question mark. And we will be making some broken lines, which I will show you in a while. When we compare two sets, it doesn't always have to be subtraction. If you remember, in P1 last year, we learned how to compare by subtraction. This time in P2, we will need to decide if, in a word problem, do we need to add or subtract in order to solve and get the correct answer. Okay? So please remember, just because you see the word more than, it's not always addition. It can also be subtraction, depending on how the word problem is written. The same for fewer than. If we see the word fewer than, it is not always minus or subtract. So you need to be very careful. Alrighty? Let's try and solve this first word problem. Rio has two toy cars. Bob, oh not sorry, sorry why am I saying that? <laughs> not two, 20, two zero. Rio has 20 toy cars, sorry about that. Bob has six more toy cars than Rio. How many toy cars does Bob have? First, we need to ask, how many people are in the story? How many? Very good, you are correct. There are two people in the story and who are they? They are Rio and Bob. So to start our model, we need to write the names of the two people in the story Rio and Bob if you notice Miss Kia wrote them down one is at the top the other is at the bottom and there's a bit of a space in between so we have space for our models okay so those are the people in our story next we will make a model for Rio here it is and Rio has 20 toy cars so, in that model, we will put the bracket for it and the number 20. Clear so far? Great, right? Now, it is Bob's turn. Okay? We make a model for Bob. Why is Bob's model longer? Because we need to find out who has more and who has less. In this word problem, Bob has six more toy cars than Rio. That means his bar or rectangle should be longer than Rio's. And we did that here in the blue bar. Very nice. And you notice, if you notice, there is a space here. Because this part is how many more Bob has than Rio. That space is where we will put a bracket and a broken line going down to the end of Bob's model. This shows us the part that is more than Rio's. And this is where we will put the number 6. Do you understand? Alrighty. So we now have the two numbers we can find in our word problem. The missing part or the question that we want to answer how many toy cars does Bob have we will be putting a bracket and a question mark for Bob's model in order to answer that very good are you able to follow all right so now that we look at the model what do you think we should do next 
Should we add the numbers 20 and 6 to get the answer of Bob's toy cars? Or should we minus or subtract them? What do you think? All right. If you answered add or plus, then you are correct. We need to add 20 and 6 to be able to get the correct answer of 26. So that is our working. Remember to also make the number sentence from left to right. 20 plus 6 equals 26. And the answer statement answering our question, how many toy cars does Bob have? Bob has 26 toy cars. Very good. Easy, right? Okay, let's move on to our next word problem. Number two. Group A has 340 members. Group B has 119 fewer members than Group A. How many members does Group B have? Again, first we need to ask the question, ask ourselves, how many groups are in the story? Yes, you are correct. There are two groups in our story, Group A and Group B. So we should write them down in our model. Next, Group A will need a model. So that's the red one here. And from the word problem, we know that Group A has 340 members. So we write that down. For Group B, it says here that Group B has 119 fewer members than Group A. So this helps us answer who has less, who has more, who has fewer. Group B has fewer than Group A from the word problem. So Group B's model should be shorter. Alright, very good. Next, where will we put the 119 in this model? So if you notice, there's again this space where the missing or the part that is more than what group B has should be located. That is where we will add a bracket and a broken line. And this is where 119 will be. This means that group B has 119 fewer than group A, okay? And of course, the last part is the question mark because we want to know how many members does group B have. Now, let's look at this model. Looking at the model, should we add or subtract? What do you think? If you answered addition, unfortunately, no, we will not add this time. But if you answered subtraction, you are correct. We will need to subtract. And following the working, the correct answer, 340 minus 119, will give you 221. The number sentence should also show the same. And your answer statement for how many members does group B have? Group B has 221 members. Alrighty. So I hope you're able to understand how to make models for word problems that compare two sets. They can be two people or two groups that you need to compare. Alright. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe and healthy. Bye.